we ask him the most high to continue to show his mercy on our leader prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam today is a great day we are discussing the independence of this nation of ours nigeria nigeria is blessed allah has blessed this country with all kind of resources human resources in abundance 200 million is a resources and uh, say it globally nigerians are intelligent allah bless them with intelligence nigerians are hard working there are people that can be presented anywhere in the globe by their nature by the way they are brought up by their climate and their weather allah has blessed this nation there is nothing there is nothing that Allah did not do a blessing to this nation. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that blessing is not being enjoyed in the country. I have traced in my khutbah the history of our independence. Of course, even before independence, there are those who have struggled for this nation among the Muslims and the non-Muslims alike. You are aware of the independence in 1960. Today, Nigeria is two years old. Any human that is two years and is not responsible, I don't know how that person can be responsible, except through dealing with that personality. Because he has experienced life enough to be a mentor, to be somebody to be emulated, to be somebody to be copied. Unfortunately, our case is not the same. Let me categorically spell out that Nigeria has developed. I am not among those who are saying we are backward. We are never backward. We have developed materially. We have developed in so many aspects of life. When you talk of roads, even with the complaint we have, there are new roads established since independence. We have schools and universities innovated. We have hospitals innovated. We have ministries innovated. We have, in fact, Abuja itself is an innovation that has been a product of after independence. So you should not close your eyes to what leaders have done and Nigerians have done to make Nigeria what it is to be today. But when you talk of Islam, Islam has measures. The measure of Islam might differ from the major of those who are non-Muslims. The major of Islam is that you are created to worship and please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Materials are not actually your value. Your value is what you are of your monetizing, your creed, your ideology, your either that you believe in oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all ramifications. Your iman is solid and genuine, sound and solid, uncompromised. And then your attitude, your behavior, your character must be seen par excellence at the family level, at the political level. That's why leadership is key. In my Arabic version, I discuss a number of verses that discusses leadership and obedience truly to the leadership. And leadership should not be compromised. Unfortunately, among the shortcomings we have in this nation, leaders who are not qualified to be in the corridor of leadership are there. And that has done a number of damages to the progress of Nigeria and Nigerians. Here I say it in my Arabic version. That you as a Muslim, your yastik and your major is to obey Allah on us. If you go back to Allah and there is nothing like Abuja, there is nothing like electricity, Allah will not ask you of that. So we should concentrate on our behaviors, our attitude. Per chance, that concentration would make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us more materially because it is Allah's promise. That when you do that, he will ease, he will ease life for you. وَلَوْ أَنَّ عَلَى الْقُرَىٰ آمَنُوا وَاتَّكَوْ لَفَتَانَا عَلَيْهِمْ بَرَكَاتٍ مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلَكِنْ كَذَّبُوا فَأَخَذْنَاهُمْ That's the situation we are in today. 
So Muslims should return back to Allah. They should use this independence to tell themselves, we have progressed in what is not meaningful to what is more meaningful. That is the purpose of being in existence, our creation. A number of criminalities, killing, in the midst of the Muslim by a Muslim, stealing, corruption, fornication, lesbianism, hypocrisy, going to sorcerers, babalaos and bokas, are having their shops open for a Muslim. People putting the Quran in their toilets so as to achieve the benefit of materials of this life. How can we progress? What kind of progress is that? And let us stop pointing finger of accusation to leaders. Leaders are just our copy. They are not from Ghana. They are not from Cameroon. They are Nigerians. If all of us are good, then automatically our leaders are good. We don't need to be told. It's high time we screen ourselves, we reform ourselves, we reflect the hereafter, and we see a way forward. I cite a case study of Abadar, and for those who are seeking for positions. I am not condemning seeking for position. I am not at all. In fact, in these crucial hours, individuals who are highly responsible should come out for the battle. They are fit to do it. But whosoever come out for the purpose of materials, he is going to regret in this life and more regret in the hereafter. That's why when, Ab uh, when uh, Abadar Ghaffari asked Rasulullah to give him position, The Rasulullah lie his two hands of honor, of honor on him. And he said to him, that's a good teacher, so that he will listen, be attentive on his two shoulders. He said, listen attentively. I'm giving you a word of wisdom. You, Abazar, Mark you, Abazar is a great scholar, is a great companion. It's among those you should go and seek for his life history. A wonderful one for that matter. But Rasulullah qualify him to be weak when it comes to leadership. Which means 99% of Nigerians are going to be under Abadar al Ghafari. And people today, you see their posters, criminals. Because they have the money. They are buying the money. They are buying the seed with their money. And we are supporting them. How many poor individuals have you seen emerging as leaders in this nation? How many? And now you accuse him. He bought, he, bought, he bought the position with his money. And why should he not refund back his money? Have you ever seen a business that you know you are going to lose in the business and you go into it? Leadership in Nigeria today is a form of business. Go into it, give out your money, and refund it back with gain and surplus. So he told about that, that you are weak. Not in Iman, not in Salah, not in Zakat, but in leadership. And it's a trustworthy, it's a responsibility. And he warned him that on the day of Qiyamah, it's going to be a regret, Nadama. It's going to be a punishment, it's going to be a humiliation, Khizyun. Except for those who have done what is due for those who are their subjects. Let me end my kutuba with apology or prolonging. It is because of the ceremony. And we are aware today in the National Mox we are, ceremony is going on with the Sultan of Sokoto and all the, our leaders who are there discussing the same issue of leadership. Let me use this opportunity to congratulate Nigerians for being at the age of 62. And at the same time, to tell us we are backward in our character and behavior. We should reinforce ourselves. Allah is happy with us. That's why he gives us more opportunity. Let us use it for repentance and going back to righteousness. I will also use this opportunity to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our malam, our scholar, Sheikh Dr. Yusuf Qarrawi, whom Allah has seized his life. He has done a lot to this ummah in terms of propagation. In fact, even in Europe, a write-ups. And that does not mean you may not have some errors. That is natural in human. 
we ask Allah Ta'ala to pardon him and to forgive him. And those who have passed away before him, right from Adam alayhi salatu wasalam till date. And for those of us who are alive, we pray Allah Ta'ala to prolong our lives in doing good, in seeing more years of this country, and reforming the nation, and handing it over to our grand and grandchildren in a better position. Allahumma izal Islam wal Muslimin. Wadamir ada ana ada ka ada adin. اللهم عليك بالكفرة والفسق والفجرة الذين يكيدون الإسلام كيدا اللهم عليك بهم فإنهم لا يجزونك ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولمن سبقنا بالإيمان والمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد